Welcome back to another video, PokeExode here, and today we are going to be going through our returns from PSA. So this is a bigger return than previously, and you know I'm really excited to see what kind of grades we'll be getting uh, with the cards. Um, I believe I had sent in the best cards that I personally have had in terms of quality and such. And with that, let's get right into it. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and begin with our first one. Um, real quick, before we dive into this, just wanted to say that this, these cards, I would say from the last, uh, let's see, probably from the last three to four months, these, uh, those cards that I pulled in those videos are not included in this because you know PSA takes a while. So this, this is one. Of, this is what I would consider the best, re uh, best cards that I had during that time. So we're gonna go ahead and start off with our first one here. So just to start off things, it, you know, centering doesn't look too bad. So let's go ahead and see what it is. Okay, so it is the Coridon EX. Uh, again, centering looks pretty good. I remember I put this card in uh, simply because I thought it was really good in terms of centering because I feel like with, you know, unpacking cards, as long as there's no whitening, I feel like the centering is what gets most people but without further ado let's go ahead and see what we will get and hey let's go we got a gem mint 10 on the first graded card amazing and that cried on ex card looks really nice so i'm really happy that we were able to get that as a 10 on to our next card here Again, centering isn't too bad, except it's a little off from, you know, left to right, um, but that's okay. Okay, so this was back uh, before I started the channel. I actually had opened up some jungle, first edition, so I decided to get the Pikachu graded, because, you know, why not? But this is very nice. I, you can see that the centering looks pretty good. So let's go ahead and see what we get. Ah, it is a mint nine. I wonder why it was a mint nine. I wonder if it's the centering or what? Cause I thought this was a pretty good, oh, there's like a, a little bit of whitening there at the bottom. I don't know if that was there before, but a mint nine, I guess that's not too bad. I was really hoping for a 10. I tried to make sure, or I tried to, you know, look at the cards before I sent them in, uh, just to s make sure that they were like a 10 in quality. Um, so the next one I did a pincer, just cause this is like, you know, this is the rare that you pull. Unfortunately it wasn't hollow, uh, but I still wanted to get it graded uh, regardless. So I, it's probably gonna be another nine, honestly, but let's see. What we get, yeah, it's a nine. I wonder what it was. Yeah, there's some whitening at the corners. I don't remember seeing those on the corners, but maybe, maybe that's what it did, or that's what's uh, you know caused it to be a nine. Uh, that's unfortunate, cause I really thought those were gonna be tens, but you know what? That's okay. On to the next card here we have okay so this is the Miriam very nice I believe this should be a 10 but who knows it could be a 9 all right let's see what we get it's a 9 okay very interesting I wonder there's always it's and there's like some whitening on the bottom. It's like really very ba uh, barely visible. So that's unfortunate. I don't know if that's what caused it. 
or if it's uh maybe the centering's a little off i thought you know that everything was looking good uh, that's a little unfortunate that this was a nine but you know what we'll take it so honestly i'm happy with nines or tens um the only cards that i'd be happy with eights or below would be like specific cards but i mean obviously you want to get your return if you uh had you know some cards as um that low but on to our next card here let's take a look i don't see any whitening on the edges now and it looks pretty nice so let's see which one it is okay so it is the gold Hulkia V-Star origin form from Crown Zenith. All right. I believe this one should be a 10, but again, it could be a 9. Um, tried to make sure that they were 10 qualities, but I guess some cards got, you know, those white little dots on the edges. But let's go ahead and reveal and see what we'll get hey let's go a gem mint 10 that is what i'm talking about all right yeah this is this is beautiful i gotta open up some more crown zenith here on the channel hopefully we can you know hope that you know we can pull some of the other gold cards because this is the only one i have um i would really like to pull some of the other ones so that's awesome that we were able to get another gym mint 10 now here let's go ahead and take a look i don't see any whitening which is a good sign uh, it's probably a newer card because you know these newer cards don't really have it um all right okay so it is the crown the end of pikachu all right i think i had a couple of these and i think this was my best one so let's go ahead and reveal the grade and see what we get. Ah, a mint nine. If anything, I would probably, I don't even know what the issue would be. Whether there's like a, you know, there's no whitening on the back. Um, could be something on the surface or you know off-centered or something like that or maybe there is something that I just can't see um, but we're gonna be moving on to our next card here so as you can see it is a, a Japanese card so everything looks pretty nice at least uh, from what I can see so let's go ahead and flip it over okay so this is Penny uh, I remember whenever I pulled this card, this card at the time was a hundred dollars raw. You know how insane that is? I'm pretty sure it's dropped drastically since then. Um, but that's just insane at the time. Um, and of course, you know, the English counterpart being much cheaper too. But we'll go ahead and see what we get. So Come on. Hey, let's go. Another Gym Mint 10 for the collection. All right. So we got ourselves a Gym Mint 10 Japanese Penny from Scarlet and Violet. Very nice. So far, as you can see, it's kind of three to uh, four to three in regards to uh, nines to tens, which actually isn't bad, you know. The goal is always, you know, to have more gem and tens, or you know, at least have close to the nines, because tens are hard to grade unless you absolutely know for sure it's going to be a ten. But this one, I'm pretty sure. I think I know what it is. Um, there's no whitening that I can see. Okay, so I actually didn't know what it was, but it is Serena from Silver Tempest. Um, I just thought this was kind of a nice card uh, to get graded. Everything looks pretty nice in terms of the quality and spacing, but who knows? We'll just have to see what the grade is for itself. And we get a Mint 9. 
Yeah, I wonder, I wonder if it's, you know, off-centered. I really don't see any whitening, but either way, it's unfortunate. It was nine, but hey, you know what? I'll take it, so we'll go ahead and move on to our next one here. So this one, I don't see any, you know, anything out of the ordinary on the back, just from a glance at it. And it is our full art Charizard V Max from Darkness Ablaze. This was very fun to pull. Um, it is in the video, um, but yeah, that was really fun. Um, I believe it. It looked to me that it would be a PSA 10. All of these look to be PSA 10 to me, but you know, there's always some things that you know the grader may see that I don't. But there's only one way to find out the grade. And let's see what we get. Hey, we get a Gem Mint 10 on the Charizard VMAX for Darkness of Place. This is the best card in the set, and I just got it as a PSA 10. Let's go. And that's that's pretty much what I'm kind of aiming for, is for these big hitters to get as a 10. Um, not, not so much like, you know, some of these other ones. Um, but it's always nice just to get tens in general. It is the goal after all. So this one, I know, I actually know what this card is going to be. Um, honestly, this could probably be an eight. I just got it graded because, I mean, selling it raw or anything like that, there's no way that it would be worth. Um, but this is the Hollow Charizard from Evolutions. This was an insane opening. I was not expecting to pull this card. Um, as you can see, it is very, very off-centered. Um, honestly, it could even be a seven. I don't even know, um, but I just wanted to get it graded. Otherwise, it's just gonna sit in a binder or something, which I guess I could have done, but let's just go ahead and get it over with. See, see what they give it. Yeah, so that would be an 8, which is expected with the condition it in. You know, the, that centering is pretty bad, and I think there's a whitening there at the top. But uh, a beautiful card, regardless. It is my only Charizard of the original artwork. So, gotta get, I gotta get some more of those, you know? <laughs> gotta try and pull some more. Um... So, here we are on to our next card. Nothing I can see right off the bat. There is a little whitening at the top, which is unfortunate. And it is the Arcanine EX. Why did they put the EX so small? That's kind of weird. Um, yeah, that's unfortunate. But I just like the card, so I got it graded. I thought it would be pretty good. I think the centering was good. That's why I got it graded. But we get a mint 9 on it. So that's unfortunate. And we are coming down to our last couple cards here that are graded. We have two left. I have no idea what they will be. But I'm hoping they'll be 10s. <laughs> So, here we are. Why is there always like a, like some kind of ding on the top left? That's so weird. I don't remember whenever I pulled these, uh, like I remember them being spotless and perfect. So it's kind of weird that it's all like, like that. But I remember like this should be a 10. I remember going through it and uh, making sure everything was perfect to send. So this isn't a 10, I probably will be a little bit disappointed. A mint nine. Man, I don't even know. I guess it's a little off centered. Then you had that white part up there. I don't, I don't remember that at all, but I guess it is a little off centered. That's unfortunate. But, can't do too much about that. And then this last one, I have absolutely no idea what it could be. 
So let's go ahead and see. Look, there's like the whitening at the very top as well. So it's very, I'm not sure, it's, it's weird. Oh, okay, yeah, it's the other Coridon EX. I forgot I had two, so that's very nice. All right, so um, let's just let's just see what we get. And it's a mint nine. That's unfortunate. Yeah, that's weird. Hmm. I'll just take a closer look at it. I gotta. I gotta confirm something. Okay. Hmm. Alright, well, I don't think we did too bad. We got one PSA 8, which I totally expected. Um, in my mind, I was really hoping for a 10, even though I knew it wasn't gonna be a 10. And then, of course, you know, we got our beautiful Gem Mint 10s here. Uh, Yep, and the other Coridon. So those were really nice. I will definitely have to do a, another one of these with you know all the more recent cards that I pulled. But um, yeah, that was uh, that was pretty fun. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video as much as I did. If you did, uh, be sure to leave a like on the video. It helps me out a lot. Uh, and subscribe, uh, you know, down below. And with that, I will see you guys in the next one.